Dalo Falava, my name is Marie Wright. And Malo Lele, and I'm Muffy from the Heart Foundation, here to show you the tuna fish salad. A nice, tasty, easy, and affordable meal that we can make for our families. So, right here, I've got the recipe, and you can get this on the, uh, the website today. But we're going to start off with showing you a bit of what we're using in the recipe. And over here, you can see a whole lot of vegetables, nice and colourful, and this is what we will be putting in with our tuna. And I see before we chop up the vegetables, we've got tuna mm -hmm. that will go in there. So what's the difference? I see we've got spring water here and there's two others. What's the difference? The best one to look for is look for tuna and spring water. That's the best because it doesn't have the added oil or the added fat. And also it doesn't have the added salt, which tuna and brine does have. So brine means salt and water. So go for the tuna and spring water, which is the best one for the heart. All right, so why don't we get chopping and we'll get going with the vegetables and start from there. Sounds brilliant. All right, so we're going to get going. We're going to mix it all together. And what we've done is we've chopped up a bit of vegetables before, but we're just going to finish it off. So here I've got the silver beet. And so, Muffy, this is finely chopped. Is that right? Yeah, finely chopped. Not many people actually know that you can eat silver beet raw. So uh, Marie's chopping it very finely if it's your first time tasting silver beet, mm. but you can eat silver beet raw. And the great thing about eating it raw is also you won't lose the vitamins that do dissolve in water into, um, into water or when you're washing or, or when cooking. So having it raw will ensure that you've got all the vitamins from the silver beet. We must be getting a lot of vitamins and minerals from this because there's so many vegetables we're putting into the salad. Loads of them. We've got different colours. We've got green, we've got red, we've got white, um, different shades of green. So if we've got different shades of greens uh, and different colours, red um, and white, it means that there are different varieties of, of vitamins that you can get from those vegetables. And they're also high in fibre. So it means that it does fill you up without adding too much energy into the food that you eat. So you don't need, you don't put on weight. That's good. I think we all want that. We all want to make sure we stay the right weight and not put on too much. And I guess it all links back with, you know, being active and being quite physical. And for a lot of the stuff here, we can grow this in our backyards, can't we? Definitely. Um, we can grow tomatoes at this time. Silver beet also grows really well at the back of your garden, so to save money you can grow vegetables um, at home and not have to buy them. Yeah, we all like that, saving a bit of money, spending it on something else. Definitely, and the other thing also is you can choose vegetables that are in season, so that you don't have to buy expensive out of season vegetables during the year. I can see that you're chopping there, Marie, but if you've got a large family, then you can get the older children to come in and one can chop the cucumber, one can chop the capsicum. That's a good idea. Making sure they all wash their hands, of course. Definitely, of <laughs> course, they'll have to wash their hands. Seeing that we're not going to be cooking this in high temperature to kill off the bacteria yep. and the germs, it's very important that they do wash their hands off because a lot of Pacific people do get food poisoning and get diarrhea and vomiting and so forth from just very unsafe handling of food. So, yeah, we've got spring onion so that it adds um, further flavour. So rather than using uh, a lot of salt, you can add um, spring onions for flavour. All right, so what's next? So you've done all Chop the chopping. Yep. The easiest part is to put them together. Sounds good, all right. And seeing we've got a big family, we're I've got two bowls, yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. And I guess if we don't eat it all in that, suit, in that dinner or the meal, we could maybe have some later for lunch the next day? Definitely, leftover yeah. for lunch the next day. Sounds good. All right, so mixing it all together, do I drain the tuna first or? Yeah, so we'll drain the, the tuna first and save the juice for the dressing so it's not so dry. We can have some juice and flavour in there. This is quite a big tin, is this like normally the size I would use? The recipe that will be on the website calls for half of that can, so we'll just use half of that. And tuna and, and spring water, you've got protein in there, so good for children's growth. Yep. 
um, for protein. A, a better choice than, say, mutton flaps or um, fattier meat. And it's quite cheap too, it's very affordable, isn't it? Yes, and for the heart, two to three times a week of fish. Yeah. So that's quite good. That's very good. good. Cool. All right, so mixing the vegetables together, is that right? Yes, so we'll have uh, half the capsicum. I've spilled some there. So I'll do the same here, just half the vegetables. Yeah. So half green capsicum. Swap that with you. Yeah, and then the other half into that roll. Oh, it's looking good already. And can you smell the, the aroma mm. of the, oh, the so fresh. vegetables? Oh, yum. The great thing is it's, it's filling, but it's not um, doing any harm to your waistline. Yeah. It's so colourful. And that, I think that's the thing. Sometimes our food is very brown or it's very cream. It's one colour always. But this, it's so many different colours and that's always got to be good for you. Oh, definitely. And we've got half year spring onions. So we've used two spring onions. So one will go into one bowl and one to the other. There you go. Good. So what next? Are we putting and that tuna in? We've got onions. So half the onions. You can also use red onions, which is sweeter in flavour. Yeah. Uh, but it is more expensive. So for a variety of or more colour, purple colour into your dish, you can use uh, the red onions. All right. So this we only need half of it. Is that right? Um, yes. The recipe calls for half of that can. So just half. So. I'll Pull it to the side. And this, are we just flaking it or are we just chucking it in? Yeah, flaking would be good, but just add, because once we mix the, okay. the two bowls, it will flake it so it doesn't go mushy. Yeah. And that's another thing when you're mixing salads is to add all the ingredients so that when you're handling the vegetables, you're not bruising them even further. And they go limpy and, and not quite appealing to the to the eyes for people to enjoy. All right, so I think that's our half there. Great. That okay. looks about half to me. Great. Okay. All right, so what's next? Now we've got the dressing. So we're using the vinegar and some canola oil. One tablespoon of yep. vinegar. Okay, make sure I've got the right one. Yep. Just the label one. And then just there. And one dessert spoon of canola oil. Do we need to use canola oil or could we use a different oil? You can use a different oil. Um, you can use peanut oil or olive oil. But we've chosen canola oil because it does have the same goodness. It does have the same good and the happy fat for the heart. Yeah. But at a cheaper cost. Oh, sounds good. We like cheap, don't we? Not just healthy, but wealthy. Good. Okay, so you've got that yep. and half a cup of finely chopped okay. parsley. Do you want me to do that one? Yeah, for you? why don't you do that? Show me how it's done. Yeah, so this has been washed thoroughly. So we'll just have a handful of parsley and finely chopped. And while I'm chopping this, you can smell the aroma mm. of the parsley. It's so strong. It's, it's very a nice. very strong flavour, so it does add to your salad. So that's. And then we'll add that to the dressing. So do you want to mix up the yep. juice? We'll get that going. So but this what is I also nice and quick, isn't it? It's very nice and quick, but I think before the canola oil, even though it's good for the heart, we still have to be, you know, keep it to small amounts. Yeah. So we don't add the, the weight. Yeah, so this is about half a cup of finely chopped parsley. There you go. Nicely done. And into here. I'm just up. mixing. So Muffy, I think we're done here. So do we just add this in and then mix and that's and us? And surf. Nice. Nice and easy. We didn't even use the oven or anything. Definitely not. And you can do this when you're going to the park or going to the beach. That's a good idea, yeah. Because you can chop them all up, put them together, but don't mix them until you get to the, uh, just before serving as well. 
Sounds good. All right, here's your half. Yeah, because you want to actually mix the juice um, closer when, you, when people are eating, because otherwise it will just make the salad mushy. And then all you do Look is mix this. it up. All those colours. It smells so good. So we can serve it with bread. Uh, and I've got a whole, um, whole grain loaf of bread that we can serve it together with our tuna f fish salad. It's probably enough tossing. Well, my feet, it looks really good, nice and tasty. I can just smell all of the vegetables. And it's nice and colourful, so it's going to be a great dish for the family to have together, which is low in fat, mm. low in salt, but good for the heart. So happy, healthy eating, everyone. Let's get that bread and dig in. Let's go. <laughs>